going on there YouTube got another item here new from Banggood um, also there's a promo code in the video description box to get 8% off any RC car on Banggood not just the ones I'm doing videos on so check the link out check out their site and um, yeah see if you might find something you like so these are the three wheel craze that's going on right now uh, Tamiya has some three wheeled RCs that lean and do all kinds of stuff and this is a new variant of that it's one eight scale two wheel drive RC tricycle <laughs> so uh, in Banggood sent this out and we're gonna do something different with this one I'm gonna do the review we're gonna drive it and look at it and then we're gonna give it away uh, Banggood's been sending so much stuff and I'm running out of room and stuff like that so some of the items we get now from Banggood once we do the video and review them we're gonna give them away to you guys so uh, stay tuned to figure out how to do that because I'm not even sure how I'm gonna do the giveaway yet but uh, <laughs> we'll get it figured out All right, so the box is a little banged up but I've already opened it up everything is good inside um, this little thing is kinda cool I, I didn't think I would really like these um, it does seem small for eight scale, I mean, it's literally the size of a tricycle. Um, we've got 2.4 gigahertz. It says ready to run. Comes with a little battery installed. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't taken the body off to look. But uh, we've got our little radio here. It's pretty small, but the steering and stuff feels good. The trigger and stuff on it feels decent. Just the rest of it feels kind of thin. But uh, let's get this box out of the way. <laughs> So let me zoom you in and get a closer All right, look. So we have basically a small off-road buggy back half and a motorcycle front. We've got this little uh, bumper here. That does feel like it's actually metal. Held on with metal clips. The suspension is super soft. So I imagine this is going to look cool drifting around in the dirt. It's going to sway and lean. Our driver has a bobblehead helmet, which is kind of cool. It's a very cool looking motocross style helmet he's got too. Very realistic looking. We'll get a better look at that here when we get the uh, get the body off. So uh, again, front wheel steering. It's got like a knobby dirt bike tire. Looks like a motorcycle. <laughs> Bring it around the back. We've got a small scale engine up here. It looks like a little single cylinder motorcycle engine with pipe that comes up through the the wing. Uh, the suspension is super super soft. This is going to be very interesting to see this thing swaying around out there. Um, the body is hard plastic. It's not Lexan, so you could take the stickers off and customize it or paint it and whatever you want to do, fly your colors. Um, I'm not sure. These may these look like radiators hanging off the side. Um, this part is plastic, but it pr feels pretty durable. It's got a little give to it. Looking around back here, you can see a little buggy suspension. It's leaning because I got the wheels turned here. There we go. The wheel. It's kind of cool. It's a different different little thing here. I've never seen nothing quite like it. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> the shocks actually feel like they're oil filled. You could hear them making a little bit of noise in there. They're nice and a lot of cushion. The front's a little stiff, but I think that'll help with the steering. Looking underneath, the chassis plate is aluminum. Uh, the rear suspension all is like a heavy duty nylon. Tires feel like they actually have foam in them. Nice and uh, firm, yet grippy. Our little front tire <laughs> is pretty small. It's kind of cool. It looks like there's a shock on, there's a couple shocks on the front. Um, getting that nice metal Nerf bar here. Yeah, I guess that's more of a thing to keep it from tipping over. But uh, I already pulled the pins out here. Let's take the body off and uh, see what it's got going on underneath here. <laughs> kind of an odd little thing, but again, it's hard plastic, so you could paint it. There's our little driver, this bobblehead. We've got a small little nickel metal battery. Uh, what is that? It is. Looks like 800 milliamp. Sits nice and low in the front. Steering and stuff is kind of cool, the way it works. Um, I kind of actually like that. If I was keeping this, I might make something else out of it. Steal the steering, make a three-wheeler of some sort. But uh, <laughs> it's got a uh, two oil-filled shocks, I think. 
and uh, one has a spring on it to keep it soft. Again, they got a lot of a lot of sway with this. It's going to look neat when it's out driving. It's kind of a cool little rig. All of our electronics are tucked in here here in the middle. Um, really hard to see. There's our motor. It looks like a little 320 size motor. The battery is a three cell. It's kind of just wedges underneath the driver, underneath the steering. It's got a real nice actual servo. Um, on this side here, you can see the receiver. We've got our on and off switch. Again, it is 2.4 gigahertz. It's a nice quality feeling little rig. You know, you, you expect some stuff to be kind of cheapo, but it's built like a touring car or a buggy. I mean, it's aluminum flate, nice nylon parts. Um, Drivetrain and everything feels pretty good. So, uh, yeah, we've got, comes with a USB charger, which these are pretty handy, and it didn't take too terribly long to charge it up. It took it about an hour and a half, and that was just plugged into a laptop. These have a small Tamiya style connector, but it's narrower than a Tamiya. So, unless you already have one of those. Again, the hard plastic body. It's got body pins on the back that fit into the roll bar. <laughs> Driver is pretty cool. I like to put him in one of my other trucks. That'd be pretty cool. I'm not sure how that's attached or anything. Oh, he just slides on there. That's cool. That is an aluminum servo mount in the front. And again, you can see the scale motorcycle engine here. The pipe coming off the back. Seems pretty well built. So, uh, yeah, let me get some batteries in the controller. We'll power this thing on and see, see what it does. All right, got it powered on. Servo feels good and strong. Ooh, I think it's going to have a little bit of speed. Oh yeah, it'll spin the tires. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so with these little knobby tires, I'm assuming this is for off-road. So uh, yeah, let's get it outside. I've got some uh, nicely smoothed sand and dirt out there that uh, I think this thing will rip up pretty good. All right, guys, so that's a different experience driving this thing. It is uh, very challenging. Um, the rear suspension is a little bit soft. Um, I don't think it's designed quite for the type of terrain I have, but uh, it has very limited ground clearance, so it needs to be like a hard-packed dirt track or something. But it's still pretty cool. It, it doesn't try to flip over a whole lot, but it does get stuff caught up under it pretty easily. But... Uh, you could do all kinds of stuff with this. I mean, you could you could make some kind of cool rat rod motorcycle thing out of it. Or Possibilities are endless. So, now check these out at Banggood. Check the video description. There is a 8% off code for any RC car. Not just ones I've done videos on or this one. Any RC car, 8% off. Something, you know. 
And if you see anything on Banggood you like, might help you swing it. Um, so we're going to give this away. I've got so many RC cars and Banggood wants me to keep doing videos. So we're going to start giving away some of the stuff that they send me. So I hate to do it. I know a lot of folks don't use Facebook, but that's the easiest way for me to organize everything and pick a winner. So you go to the RC Everyday Facebook page. There's a link in the video description. Like that page and the first uh, posting should be a link to this video and it'll say giveaway on it and in that like that post and comment where you're from and what you would do with this thing and the most creative idea of what someone would do with this little three-wheeler is going to be the winner so again it's a Facebook RC every day this post should be the first one up there as long as the giveaway is going I'll keep it pinned at the top and uh, I'll give it about a week and we'll pick a winner and I will contact you on Facebook but again, if you don't win, check out Banggood. Click the link in the video description. Don't have to buy nothing. If you just take a look at it, see what they got. You might find something you like. You never know. And the 8% off code is listed right there in the video description as well. And I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, keep it scale. I'll see you all in the next video.